Hey guys, it is Saturday, June 26th. What I'm gonna be doing today is bringing some of my stuff from this room, including my whole computer setup, bringing it downstairs to the warehouse just to avoid the heat. I just know I'm gonna be miserable all summer and the heat makes me sluggish and sleepy and I, you know, I wanna be productive and not suffering the whole summer. The AC unit's been nice, but it can only bring the room's temperature down a few degrees, so I'm just, I'm bringing, I'm bringing this stuff downstairs. Not everything, obviously. I mainly want to bring down the computer stuff. So the tower, the Cintiq, that monitor, and yeah, all that stuff. The the I think the printer could stay up here and the scanner. And I could just, if I ever need to use those, I can use them from my laptop. And I might also bring down one desk, in which case it might be the desk the computer stuff is on because it's got the keyboard tray on it and the mount for the Cintiq. Because this thing is mounted onto an arm which goes through a hole in the, wait, actually does this desk have a hole in it? Yeah, 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 it does. I did drill a hole. So yeah, there's a hole going through the desk. And then pretty much everything else could stay up here and I could bring stuff down as I need it. Like if I'm using specific art supplies, I could bring those ones down. And things are finally gonna be ramping up. Things are finally moving forward with the sketchbooks. I just got a message from the manufacturer like I woke up to it this morning saying that they're almost done the books. They're going to be done them either this coming week or the one after. And so th things are moving. Things are moving forward finally. It just felt so stagnant. I'm just like, do I do a, a store opening without the sketchbooks? Or do I wait for the sketchbooks? What am I doing? So I don't know. It looks like maybe I can wait. I'm a little sad to leave this room. It's so cute. Like the warehouse is not that cute, you know. And this room's bright. It's nice. I will need to bring down things like the microphone. I don't know where I'm gonna attach it. I'll have to figure that out. The webcams, I'll have to bring down one of my art cameras and probably the ring light too, but not this boom. I'd have to put them on a tripod. I still have the old tripod I used to use. The lights, I may or may not take down. It'd be nice to leave them, but I kinda don't need them. Cause I could take just the heads off cause these originally had tripods, big tripod stands. And so I still have those so I could unscrew the actual light portion of this and bring it down without having to disassemble the wall thing. But is that too much? Plus like the, the power boxes for these lights are wall mounted. You see that like right there and like right there. Cause otherwise it's a lot of weight just hanging and dangling. So I'm like, oh, I have to take all that apart. So if I could make do without bringing the lights down, that would actually be nice. I do have some umbrella lights I could try using or at least one. Yeah, I'll have to play around with stuff, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I guess I can get started on taking this apart and moving it. Part of me is like, am I being too rash? Like, should I just wait till the heat wave is over before I make my final decision? But I'm like, no, I'm like looking at the extended forecast. It's going to be, it's probably going to be really hot all summer. So I'm like, just, just do it. Just do it. Not that much stuff has to get brought down. The most annoying thing will be like the cable situation, but I think it'll be for the best. Future Bailey's gonna really appreciate this move, I think, so yeah. Now, for this room, there are a bunch of boxes here that Christian folded, I'll move those. I was thinking the computer desk could go right here, and then this table here could be the equivalent of the art desk. So if I'm creating some art, or wanna do some pin grading, any kind of store properly, it can be done right here. I'll just have to move the tripod over whenever I do that, like the tripod could maybe be in the middle, and then I can move some of this stuff to the back of the room, but that's probably gonna involve taking the elliptical out of here, which honestly I'm tempted to get rid of. <sighs> Might just move it for now. The bike, I'm also tempted to get rid of. I've said this before. So yeah, I kinda wanna move that out of the way. And this can be like the storage half of the room for boxes, whether they're folded or unfolded, they can all go back here. And soon I'll be placing a huge, huge box order amongst other things like crinkled paper and glassy and sleeves, a whole bunch of stuff. And so it's really going to fill up. Normally we have all that stuff stacked here and then some of it outside of the room as well. Also, if the computer's here, I'm thinking like the webcam is going to be facing this way. And so we would see this wall. So I'm like, do I make it cute? I kind of need the box storage maybe. Well, if I move the elliptical, this stuff doesn't have to be here. I got nails on the wall still from when my art room was down here, so I could hang some stuff up. I still have to frame one of my diamond paintings because I got one of them in here. It's kind of fallen. It's a little crooked right now. <laughs> but I just think it'll be nice. It's nice and cool down here. Good place to spend the summer.
Okay, I have everything I think brought down here. I've got the two monitors on the desk, the t computer towers down there, and then I have a box of all my stuff <laughs> right there. I just took a break for probably close to an hour to cool off down here, just stay down here without going upstairs because I was starting to feel really lightheaded. And I'm better now, but I, <laughs> I want to go back upstairs so I can cook something to eat. I did not want to be standing in front of a stove right now, but I just want something. I don't even know what I'm going to do for meal prep tomorrow. I'm tempted to just buy easy things that can be thrown in the oven and ignored. Might be a bit lazy with that this week. But yeah, okay, let's head up. I'm going to see what I have. I kind of want pasta, but I don't know if we have pasta. <laughs> let's see. Oh yeah, my chair's down here too. Right there. Just waiting to move it in there because it's going to be in the way. According to my phone, the temperature outside is 36 degrees Celsius, feels like 38, which is 100 Fahrenheit. That's just too much for me, it's too, it's too much. I know some places that's a normal summer temperature, it is not here, that's not normal. Tomorrow and Monday, it's supposed to be in the 40s. We do have pasta, we got lots of spaghetti left. We don't have any ground beef, usually we make it with that or ground pork, but we don't have any. So I'll just do the sauce and spaghetti. When I go downstairs, you're coming down with. It's too hot up here, baby. Poor baby. All sprawled out. <laughs> All right. Super basic spaghetti. I went outside to clean the windows. <laughs> it looked much cleaner when I was out there. Look at these streaks. Uh, here's how it looks after a second cleaning attempt. <laughs> Not much better. <laughs> Okay, back again. I took a dry microfiber cloth to it. I think it helped, but if you see it at a certain light, you can still see so much crud. Whatever, it's still way better than it was originally. And this view kind of has cottagey vibes. And the garden, well, the garden is getting so overgrown. Let me show you. Da, da, da. <laughs> uh, so ridiculous. It's the landlord's job to keep it maintained, not us, which is why it's so bad. Our first year here, we did de-weed the garden, but never again. This area is kind of cute right here. Look at this. And this is the area you can see through the window. Wait, look at these weeds. Look. <laughs> so ridiculous. And this tree was not here when we moved in. Look at it. Look at it. And they've even cut the branches off sometimes like they do with all the trees in the yard they just like lop off the branches so this thing's been heavily pruned and it's still this big and the the construction is this big <laughs> both of them well this one's taller though look who came downstairs i'm seeing some interesting lighting with this afternoon well it's kind of getting towards the evening now it's past five o'clock but this light if this was like the art desk, it's kind of a problem. Like if I close this, we get stripes. I'll probably just get a piece of cardboard that's the size of the window and just stick it in there. Well, now that the sun has moved a little bit, this looks nice and clear. Alrighty guys, I'm done working on this room for the day, so I thought I'd show you what I got. So, yep, desk set up right here. I swapped out that tripod webcam for the one that's on the boom and the tripod one's over there which is a weird spot I know but it's just for when I'm doing streams here I got the boom attached right here which is actually a great spot for it because it doesn't have to stretch out too much to go to either side like this computer was here and it's now up here it's kind of dumb having the two computers in here but I guess once I move this back upstairs I'm, I'm still gonna need this down here but what's nice about this downstairs setup is I could stream from this and run the cameras facing over here like usually I have a webcam sitting exactly where this vlog camera is right now like about this kind of view approximately so it'd be very easy to stream to this computer and use like the good mic and the good cameras that sort of thing so I could do that while I'm down here for the store packaging streams I would have to move this tripod though for the store packaging streams because it's like right in the middle of this area it's kind of in the way <laughs> plus i just want my store open somewhat constantly 
So one thing I could do is just unplug the cables and completely move this out of here unless I need it. But it's also handy to have it there for the vlog, so I don't know. We'll see how annoying it is. It's just for the summer, but it's going to, you know, inhibit me from getting over here. And then I had that turquoise dresser thing here. I moved it over here because I want some kind of cute background for when I'm sitting here and streaming and stuff. Like, I just want something good for the background. So I put it there, and then I brought this down. I didn't think I would. The art room upstairs looked okay until I brought that down. Now it just feels so empty because <laughs> that, like, filled the corner there and added color. Got the inspo board there and my sketchbooks. And then I put this poster here. I got this at the D23 Expo, and it's just been sitting in a sleeve. It's really nice. It's got, like, the trees are raised. It's very textured. It's got this silky, just super soft finish to it. And this is raised as well. I don't know. It's very cute. Very cute. Okay, this looks better. I just fiddled with a white balance on my camera because I had it set for upstairs, which is mostly daylight, and we got more artificial light down here. So this looks a little better. <laughs> that looks more like what I see in real life. So, yeah. Yeah, that's that area. I could hang some stuff, but I don't know what to put on these nails because it would have to be something framed, but I don't want to take the framed art off the wall upstairs. Like, I don't want to take down that gallery wall, so I don't know. I don't really need anything there, I guess. This is enough to fill the background for videos. And I put this lamp here. It was previously in the other corner. It was over there, but instead I put a white light. And I only have one of these umbrella stands. Well, I have more stands, but I'm missing bulbs for them, so I might get another, like a replacement bulb. Because then I can set one up in that corner, or I could just get different bulbs for this one. These ones are just really yellow bulbs. I'm just a little yellow for my taste. I wouldn't mind getting some smart bulbs eventually. But that's what I have for extra lighting for now, is that lamp there. This one over here. The annoying thing is I will have to walk around back here to shut this off. And so I don't want this blocked too much. I mean, I don't want it blocked in general because I can put the cat tent up a lot this summer on non heat wave days. <laughs> but yeah, it just helps brighten up the packaging area a little bit. I wouldn't mind some kind of light right here, especially for packaging. Plus during the daytime, I can open up the blinds and you know, let some light in. I mean, it's still light right now. Another thing I did is I mounted this small shelf here. It's one of the ones that was upstairs previously under the window. And then some of my packaging supplies can go there. Because usually I keep boxes up here. And it's nice to have this, just to have more stuff, I guess, and I don't have to reach as high. Oh, and I took off the top shelf of this rack right here because it was in the way of the boom. If I wanted the boom clamped there, which was really my only option, I had to remove the top piece of the shelf. And I put that top piece down here. It's just acting like a little storage shelf. I could technically have all these bins stacked right on each other, but I guess it's nice because you can grab the bottom ones without having to disassemble everything. Got some folded boxes all over there. And my slot boxes, uh, crinkle paper, all that stuff is over here. And some unfolded boxes too. Don't have too much of that yet, but there will be a lot more. <laughs> So yeah, this is how this is looking. I feel like I'm gonna be sad to go back upstairs because this is kind of cool, but at the same time, just walking in my art room right now makes me sad. I'm like, why did I leave? <laughs> but I guess that's good. It's good that I like both both spaces. This will just be the summertime setup and then we can move it back upstairs once the weather cools off. And then in here. <laughs> sad, like I said, when the Copics were still in the corner, it looked fairly normal actually. <laughs> like all this stuff's still here and the desk's still there. Really just this desk is gone. But now that the Alex drawers are there, you know, it kind of acts like a desk. I may actually roll the AC unit over there and I can put it into this window instead of this one, just for any time I am up here. Cause this is still a good usable space, especially when I need some floor space. Oh my God. 37, that's almost 100 Fahrenheit. <laughs> almost. <laughs> I'm dying. All this cute corner I just made too. It's like, well, farewell. Oh, and the dust that was underneath my computer tower, cause it's on wheels. Look at this. Look, oh my God. Like 
I try to get in there with like a little vacuum, like skinny vacuum end. The amount of stuff that got missed is disgusting. So that's probably for the best that this can get all cleaned up. I'm not gonna do this right now. I am really pooped. <sighs> I'm gonna chillax for the rest of the evening because what time is it right now? It's 8.30. We're actually gonna watch the live action Mulan in like half an hour. I've heard mixed things about it, so. <laughs> but I haven't seen it yet, so I'm gonna watch that. I'm trying to figure out where to set you. I think we're just gonna have to deal with that window behind me. <laughs> it's bright. It is now Tuesday. Yesterday was a game stream day, so I didn't vlog anything. But boy, was it hot. Yesterday was the highest forecast day and it was very hot. It was like 42 degrees. Well, I th the highest I saw on the thermometer was 41.2 or something for our indoor thermometer. <laughs> that's very high for here. Like we don't usually get temps like that in Canada. Like for reference, I wrote down some conversions. <laughs> 42 is 107.6. 40 is 104. There is a place about two and a half hours from here. Um, I don't know if it's pronounced Lytton or Lytton, but they set a new record, an all time record for all of Canada for highest temperature and not just for that day but for any day of the year they set the record on sunday which was 46.6 celsius which is 116 fahrenheit and then yesterday they broke that record again and it was 47.5 which is 117.5 fahrenheit like we're not used to temperatures like that in canada and apparently that record they set yesterday also beats out the all-time high record for las vegas like what their all-time high was 47.2 and it was 47.5 there and i was like that's nasty um yeah there have been like people dying of heat stroke and stuff and pets too and it's just crazy transformers are blowing up and people are losing power some people even brought their pets to malls just to have some air conditioning <laughs> luckily we were okay because i'm down in the basement now and i had the ac unit running i have it running today too i just shut it off to film and i'm getting very sweaty <laughs> Even though it's nice down here, I'm still like, okay. And yesterday, just like walking upstairs, my skin would feel instantly like it was sunburned. It was weird. Had to come up here for a fresh camera battery. But yeah, I didn't really do any meal prep. I bought a frozen lasagna and on Sunday I cooked it. Like I just threw it in the oven and left it and went downstairs. And I also have a couple pizzas, which we'll probably cook today. They're not cooked yet, but another just throw it in the oven thing throw it and leave it and today i'm working on pin prep stuff kind of want to get my butt back into gear with the store prep stuff because uh, sketchbooks are going to be done soon they'll take a while to get here but still this is like there's no more messing around now <laughs> so i'll see if i can get through a lot of the daisy girl pins okay let's turn that ac back on Okay, I just ended the stream. I didn't want to include too much footage of the pin grading because you've seen me pin the daisy ones a bunch. But I got through six styrofoam sheets. This is my pile of stuff to bring upstairs. I tidied up and everything. <laughs> At least 134 sudden deaths reported in Metro Vancouver most related to heat. That's just Metro Vancouver. That's not even like the rest of BC. Alberta's getting some heat too. The Pacific Northwest of the US. And also imagine like pets and wildlife too. So if anyone out there is thinking, oh, it's not so bad, it's pretty bad. People are literally dying. So this is my window blockade method. Because yes, there are the blinds, but it leaves streaks of sunlight all over the table here. So. That's my solution for blocking the afternoon sun. <laughs> I mean, it's now past six o'clock, so it might, I might not need that anymore. Oop, time to get my daily crown shards and check the shop. <laughs> what have we got? Okay, the stuff I already bought. It's basically all the same stuff now. I think because I own a lot of the stuff, but I can think of a lot of stuff I don't have actually, so I don't know why it keeps showing me the same items. Because it's supposed to cycle out every once in a while, but it just doesn't. I'm on Hoverboard Heroes and I lost complete control of my character. I can move the camera if I use my mouse, but like I cannot move. I'm just stuck here. I can't even kill myself. 
because everyone's waiting for me to finish. I can't, I can't do anything. First show after the freeze, I win! Hexagon, yay! Wahoo! Oh my god, I ranked up! I mean, I'm kind of mad I didn't rank up on stream, but whatever, it was here, in the vlogs! Oh goodness, someone keeps meowing for my attention. Yeah. She just needs some pets. The level's starting, I gotta go! Alrighty, it is now Wednesday. I almost said Thursday. Earlier I thought it was Friday. My days are so messed up this week. The weekend felt unusually long to me and that just kind of messed everything up. But yeah, it's Wednesday. I don't have much to vlog today, but I thought I would pop in to report that the weather was in the 20s today and it was glorious. I did turn on the AC at one point, but then I had to turn it off because I was getting too cold, which is an amazing problem to have. <laughs> Yesterday, that town in BC, Litten. They hit a record again. 49.6 degrees Celsius. 49.6, which is 121 degrees Fahrenheit. Like what? It's just, I can't even, I can't even imagine. I can kind of imagine based on the 42 I felt, but like, that's basically 50 degrees Celsius. And that's not far from here. That's just nuts. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> That's all I really had to update you guys on. It was a game stream day, so I played some Fall Guys, got six wins in just over five hours, which is pretty good, and then played some Breath of the Wild, hunting Korok seeds. So yeah. Now I'm gonna get some kind of snack, a little something for supper. I don't know what, but <laughs> something. <laughs> kind of in the mood for takeout. Although I try to save that for Friday. Well, let me show you the window setup, by the way. I don't think I showed it yet for the AC unit. <laughs> First of all, I have this extension cord, a <laughs> really long one, just to get a few extra feet. <laughs> uh, yeah, this blows nicely between the slats here. And this is the setup, because the window swings outwards. So this is a piece of foam I usually use to stuff a crack, like this crack right here. Stuff a crack. <laughs> anyway. But because it's swinging out, I have it on one side to mostly block the triangle and then this uh, towel on the other side. It's not a very good air seal or anything, but it's, you know, it's enough that the hot air goes outside and it's enough to keep the cats from crawling outside. So, yeah. What's nice about me being down here for the summer is I can set up the cat tent a lot. We'll get lots of use out of the cat tent this year. Ooh, I gotta take this out though. calendar blockade up there. <laughs> I should take it down now. I should only put it up when I really need it because it's a cute view. Cute view. I decided to be a little bit productive so I washed these dishes and I'm currently cooking some ribs. These ones right here. I'm also gonna have some pasta as a side and some veggies. And while I was waiting for that water to boil I vacuumed. I didn't get the whole house done but I got like a decent amount done. So, yay. Oh, I hear a singing man coming. Oh my goodness. Oh, he stopped singing. Bye. Ah! Just came to hang up the hoodie? Yeah, just cleaning up a bit. Ah. Cleaning up a bit. You gotta clean up your act key. She's like, what? I'm just laying here all sweet and innocent. All right, food is done. We got some cheesy noodles. That's this one. Yes, that's the burner I was just using. I should not have set that on there. Ooh, okay. Cheesy noodles. And the steamed veggies. And the ribs. This town cannot catch a break! Regional officials ordered the evacuation of the community of Lighten BC Wednesday evening. Pictures and videos posted to social media showed thick smoke clogging the community and several buildings were reported to be on fire. This is editing Bailey here with a little update. Um, most of the town was burnt down. Nearly all the buildings have at least some form of fire damage and people literally had minutes 
to evacuate because it just came upon the town that fast. And it is now Thursday, July 1st. It is Canada Day, but instead of red, I'm wearing orange in solidarity with the indigenous communities across Canada. It's to acknowledge and honor all the children who are mistreated and murdered at the hands of residential schools in Canada. So that's why I got this. Don't ask me who the Phoenix Suns are. I really don't know anything about the Phoenix Suns. Today, I am grading pins again because I just need to get through some more. I've been kind of dreading getting back to these thick dyno ones just because there are so many B grades. Maybe I need to be a little more lenient because it is a complicated design. Like, they all look good at first glance, but... Uh, the, the ratio is not good. I think it was something like 45 to 55 the last time I did some of these. I've got 200 here and I think I have another 100 upstairs or so. Maybe 150. I literally just grabbed them. you think I would know how many bags are left, but I forget. I'll see if I can get through all 200 of these. If I don't sit there trying to scrub off every little flaw, it's easier to get through a higher amount of pins if they're good pins. If you're sitting there being like, oh, maybe I can get this off with a Mr. Clean Magic Racer, then you're wasting time, right? So with these ones, I don't want to waste too much time. I'm just going to cut my losses and be like, yeah, that's a B grade. I'm not even going to try to fix it. Just maybe, maybe the odd thing. There might be the odd thing I try to fix. But like, yeah. I need to grab the backing cards for those. My stuff is invading every room in the house. More down here. Oh, I'm gonna need this. Got all these thick dinos here. Whoa. Whoa, and a little kiki. Slim kiki. And thick dinos. <laughs> you, baby. <laughs> I'm not used to doing the ba the baggy method now. I'm used to them being like already ready to go. Like I just took a bunch out of the sleeves and now I gotta take all the clutches off too, so. You, using this guy. This guy right here. I tend to gravitate to this one more than the pink one because, well actually this one's getting the same problem. The, the closure doesn't snap shut as hard as it used to. So it'll just slides off. This one's actually, yeah, this one's getting there too. <laughs> I've been choosing this over the pink because of that, but now this one's getting to the same state. It does not like filming the chat when, uh, cause it's light on dark. This camera hates it. <laughs> the emotes look all blown out. Ooh. 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 Haven't done this in a while. Well, I guess since the last time I did thick dino pins, but. <laughs> That was forever ago. I like using this thing though, it's fun. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't grade them yet though. Wait! Usually I grade them before I do that, because then you're not getting stabbed <laughs> by this. Okay, stop, stop. We'll resume that later. I now have nine A grades with two B grades, which is be better ratio than normal, but I'm just getting started. But also this could be a better bag, because sometimes it could be just like, Maybe one day they weren't being made as well, or maybe a different employee was making them. So sometimes you have good bags and sometimes bad bags. This one seems to be a little better than previously. <laughs> it's better than that 45 to 55 ratio. This manufacturer has been hit or miss. This is a really complicated design, so it's prone to flaws, which is kind of why I want to officially retire this design. But, um,. Yeah, I, this is the same manufacturer who did the Pink Hair Bailey J ones. Those ones had a lot of flaws. But then they also made the the Gregory pins for the advent calendar, which were amazing. I had like a less than 10% flaw rate. But yeah, this one just has so many teeny tiny areas that uh, it's prone to problems. Oh my god. So many A grades. Those two bags turned out to be pretty good. This is A. This is B! Oh my god, I was not expecting that. So that's 86 A's to 14 B's. That's lovely. Lovely. Yeah, let's hope the other ones are like that. Although I doubt I just happened to grab the two worst bags right off the bat, so there probably are more bad ones, but yeah. Exciting! Look at all these thick beauties. <laughs> 
Now we can do this part. Oh, wait, that one's already off. Okay. That's too close up. <laughs> trying to reach around the camera. This is not a natural angle for me to be doing this at. I was just trying to switch it up so you wouldn't get this view again. So those are the B grades. This cardboard's extra thick. <laughs> These are also extra thick compared to the other ones I was using. These thick dino cards. Because for some reason the linen stock is just not as thick. so good on the pink backing cards and here they are in the bin they can sit in here till I get more glassy and sleeves okie dokie moosh she's waiting patiently for her evening treats <laughs> I got through, wait, I almost said 600, 300 pins of the thick dino. They'll have to be sleeved later, but still, it's pretty good. Here are the A's, here are the B's. The ratio remained pretty good the whole day. I don't know what was up with those first two bags I did earlier. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm really happy that the ratio is actually good. I now have to edit this vlog, so I have to end it here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You're so cute.